Hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Rogue One review, and this one is Krennic's Imperial Shuttle. And so the piece, so, uh, it's meant for ages 9 through 14, set number 75156, and has 863 pieces in front of the box and the back of the box. Also, the instruction manual, pretty thick. In the back, of the pieces you get advertisements for the app and other sets. Then all the sets and minifigures for the first wave of Rogue One. Yeah. And now on to with the mini. Starting off with Director Krennic. With the lead antagonist of Rogue One, and the torso print, it's quite accurate, the badge and everything, and the cape, which is a better material for the cape's actual clock and whatnot, but barely a little bit back printing, and no double-sided face. And then... Cody Rook. Right. See some nice torso printing, vest and everything, and some, a nice face printing. Uh, not going to bother with the backpack, but it's quite a nice build. And a little bit of back printing, and double sided face with goggles and stuff. And then got Pow, the new lizard guy. He has some nice printing on, and good face printing, a long pistol, and in the back, which is a sticker, of course, and also in quite nice and all right back face print, which he kind of did a bit in the movie. Whoops. All right, whatever. And then got. Uh, and you get two of the Imperial Death Troopers. Kind of like the Stormtroopers, but all pure black and all. And some nice front printing and a sides poncho thing and some all right back printing. As you can tell. And an alien clone face, but the helmet is looks to be just perfection. And as compared to the uh, buildable figure, a uh, Death Trooper, a lot of corresponding matching. And they match pretty good. And yeah. So at least you get two of these, good for army building and whatnot. And lastly is K2SO, and he's a quite cool minifig, as you, but the arms and legs reused from the battle droids, which is all right, but the main body piece looks to be just sculpted to perfection, like the Empire symbols there, since he was once an enforcer droid, and a little stud on the back of him. And once again, comparison with a construction figure to uh, K2SL. See, like scratch markings on the side, scratch markings on the side, but missing antennas. But also, the main ones, uh, construction ones feature just about like kind of represents the stud for the mini thing and then empire symbol kind of scratched but the mini figs one not scratched but well, that's all right and so pretty good to establish a mini figure 
And now on to the set itself. It's looking pretty, really cool. So it has, it has kind of a pyramid kind of feel to it, like angular and whatnot. And so like a lot of the black tiles with a lot of studs exposed, which is all right. And got a couple of like small uh, Technic pins to be the guns and whatnot. And then the landing gear, a couple of the ski pieces which fold in pretty nicely. And also a nice little boarding ramp. And the cockpit piece, which may, which is all printed, no stickers in this set. And the back engines, built pretty well. And it's accurate to the film. And, and also these three wing pieces. And how these wings fold down, which kind of like the Tidurium shuttles, but they are on... Uh, bionic hero factory ball joint friction pieces so they can stabilize pretty well and with them fold it out or when you put it in flight mode it's like really long and whatnot and of course underneath is a pair of flick fire missile it's like so but this actually has a lot of uh, folding out features. Like you can take, fold this down and also this up, of course. Fold this up, fold that out, and bend this down. You can see there's a few cockpits, like right there and there. And plenty of space to hold your ammo like these clips which they use all the time now and maybe it's pretty well built inside you can like take your death troopers and stick them on there just like so and of course Oh, and I, and did I mean there were no stickers? Actually, my mistake, there are. What that control panel there is, it's for that. It is a sticker. And yes, can fit crank in it. And, but also you can't ruin the cape or anything since it's a better cloth material. And yeah, send this top wing with the like rigid kind of piece which I'm not sure what why they do that or did that but whatever and and now to a little comparison and also the wings uh, with some like good uh, detailing on them it's a lot of flatness to them and a lot of studs but whatever and at the end of it is some sort of uh, missile or something. Don't know what that's for, but I guess it's for show. And now to a little comparison with the uh, with Tidarium shuttle from 2015. And as you see, it's the they match kind of well, but except. The top wing is actually a lot bigger, and the wings here are on frick are on ratchet joints, and of course the cockpit's like embedded into it rather than that, and and also of course like folding up parts of it, which it has a lot of, but yeah. And, yeah. and not much else to say about it, but it of which pretty good set. And so for the overall verdict on this set, that I think this is a pretty cool set. 
instance, you get KT Wesso, Death Troopers, and Krennic. That's one of the good parts of it. And a lot of folding out features and whatnot. And yeah. And if you've seen Rogue One and you enjoyed it, then go out and get this one. And go out and get this one. Or if by the time of this video, and if you like have a bunch of Christmas money and want to use it, then go out and get this one. And that is it with this video, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.